I was so into the idea of special effects. I was one of the young kids who watched all the making ofs when I was growing up. And I just started doing flip books. I was so amazed at the results you could get from just doing little drawings that moved around. I think it's a form of escapism. Ever since I was younger, I've enjoyed going to the cinema and completely forgetting about everyday life and just being taken away to wherever, wherever it is, wherever the film takes you. Tarzan was shot in a way to try and convey a certain mood and a certain look. Part of Framestore's brief was to create the ape-like creatures. Furry creatures with muscles is probably one of the most difficult things to do in visual effects and make look real. They looked into using motion capture and using human performers to do the ape action. But in the end, it just looked like a man imitating an ape. And what they wanted was something more authentic. Science and nature is essentially where most art is drawn from. And we study lots and lots of apes. We study it to the last detail until we feel like we know everything about that creature. We'll mimic the behavior that we've learnt and seen them do and try and replicate that as closely as possible with our animation. One of the critical aspects of the production was to correctly represent the ape within the jungle environment. We had to be exactingly right and to not throw away the detail in, in the picture. Otherwise, um, when it came to it, the final result wouldn't have been believable. To make sure the skin looks like it's sliding over the muscles when the arms move, that kind of detail is what gives it its ultra-realism. A portion of it is controlled by the animation, and then part of it is run at a sort of simulation level. The use of colour has become more critical. They can now use that as a tool to set mood in the same way that they would choose a particular a costume or a particular set dressing. There's so much work that goes into every second, every 24 frames of those images that just I think a lot of people don't realise. You put the invisible into, into the scene and, and kind of you, you see a result that no one knows was there. It's almost like cheating them. The greatest achievements is when people watch the film and they almost don't notice the visual effects or they don't notice them at all because we've done them so well. The story has been the most important thing that they've come away with.